and do all ESCs. I know it's not fully functional in every firmware, but all ESCs, just if they're functioning, will have the current limits. And it's just simply detecting based on the current shunt. Yeah, if we've got it set up and we've got the settings in there. I mean, the, all the ESCs, they need to have um, their uh, amplification levels. And also if they have an, an offset from their current uh, um, amplifier, we need to, to know that. Otherwise, the current limit is not going to be it's not going to be anywhere close because it's going to be just set to whatever my development ESCs are. Um, so it's uh, it might not be anywhere anywhere near accurate. Um, most of the ones that are named targets, you know, we have at least looked at some things, but sometimes not the current sensor just because we we don't have that information from the from the manufacturers and and they're getting better with communicating with us. It's like we we just need some really basic information, but Sometimes it's uh, yeah, it's hard to get. <laughs> so, well, you know, it is something that people have uh, individually tailored this to their their own hardware, and I use it all the time on my own hardware too, because I I'd make my own my own controllers. But it's uh, I think that uh, yeah, you can't really rely on it if it's especially if it's a uh, a, a target name that doesn't match the ESC's name that you're using, chances are the current sensor is not going to be anywhere close. Yeah, we had so. that issue with the flash hop. It was behaving super weirdly because it was like, oh, we're at the current. Yeah, level. yeah, it thinks that it's got 40 amps or something going through it when it's got nothing going through it. And that's it's probably got a, a quite a large offset. And that, that's what we found with the Wraith 32 controllers too. Like there's a a 600 millivolt offset coming from them. So the ESC might think that it's uh, draining 13 amps um, if you just have no offset set in it. So, um, so yeah, you can't really can't really rely on that until we, we have it set and verified. And we should have a way of of actually verifying hardware and approving different hardware, have a hardware that's verified list. So it's, uh, but uh, and most of the quad users don't really care too much about the the current limit. Um, the the Holmes Hobbies speed controllers, like the Crawlmaster ones, that those ones work perfectly with it. Um, they will, they're they're completely calibrated, but uh, I can't really speak for the others.